It says 17 boys and 13 girls. If the teacher randomly selects four students from the class, what is the chance that they will all be boys? So this is the idea of conditional probability. So we've got some first thing that's going to happen. But then the second thing is going to also be affected by that first thing. And then the third thing is going to be ha affected by that second and the first thing. And then the fourth thing is going to be affected by that first, second, third thing as well. So what we do is we figure out the probability of the first thing, then we multiply it by the probability of the second thing, assuming that first thing. And then we multiply that by the probability of the third thing, assuming those first two things. And then we multiply that by the probability of the fourth thing, assuming those first three things. That's how conditional probability worked when we talked about it earlier. So if we start off, how many students are total in the class? Well, if we've got 17 boys and 17, 13 girls, we assume we've got 30 total. So if we have 30 total, then for the first one, we've got 17 out of 30. But for the next one, we pull out one of the students. We've pulled out one boy, so that means we now only have 16 boys. How many students do we have total? Our total of students has also gone down by one because we've already used one of the students. We pulled out a boy. He's still one of the students in the class. So we've now reduced from 30 to 29 students in the class. Next, we pull out another boy. We are going to now be at 15 boys divided by, we pull out another student, 28. Finally, our fourth boy, we're now at 14 boys left to pull from, and we are now at 27 students total in the classroom after our three pulls so far. So if we want to figure this out, conditional probabilities, we just multiply them all together. So 17 over 30 times 16 over 29 times 15 over 28 times 14 over 27. We work that out, and that winds up simplifying to the not that simple looking 68 over 783, which comes out approximately to 0 0.087. So we have a little bit less than a 10% chance, 0.087 chance, of managing to pull all boys if we pull four students. It drops down pretty quickly. The first boy is a 17 out of 30 chance, but we drop down pretty quickly by the time we're at the fourth boy. It is a less than 1 in 10 chance. All right, cool. So that finishes up for all of our stuff about combinatorics in here, our ideas of counting and permutations, combinations, probability. Hope you've got a reasonable grounding. This is all the basics that you need for this level of math, but there is a huge, huge amount of stuff to explore out there. If you thought this stuff was interesting, just do a quick search on combinatorics. You'll find out all sorts of cool things. There's all sorts of really cool stuff in combinatorics, how to count things, lots of cool ideas in math. All right, we'll see you at educator.com for the next lesson. Bye.